What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another proliferate queue where we're where the where the proliferates are made up, and Michael B is always touching the things on the mic. I didn't touch it. I touched this part only. Now the volume literally came up. You adjusted the volume. So like, if I move this. I mean, I literally, my hand only touches parts, so that's weird. Oh, is it weird? Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like you just made that up to sound good, but all right. Okay. I lie about that. Because it, it makes you not wrong. But I'm wrong all the time, and I openly admit it yeah, all the you time. you want to be wrong less all the time. <laughs> just think about that, smart guy. <clears throat> I took a Heliod, because that seems pretty good. Where's your ballisty boy at? Well, considering it's the first pick, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Not fast enough. Mm. Mm. Maybe. I like Hydra and I like Tundra. Uh, Hydra and Tundra, huh? Mm -hmm. What about Tybalt? You don't like Tybalt? Nope. That's weird. How are you going to gain... How are you going to... How are you gonna? He's better than the other one, sure. But what if your opponent gains life? Kerwin said he doesn't know what Macias does, but take it. I'm gonna take this Mana Gorger Hydra. He's all right. Case is a little slow, just like me. <laughs> got him. What a self gotty. Oh, if it is an old Mike Larson, who? Mike Jones. Mike Jones? Mm hmm. 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 Oh, look at that Bonkin. Look at that synergy with the Hydra. It gets first strike? Yeah. What's going on back pick, there? But it's cool. I'm just chomping. Okay. Yeah, this pack's kind of meh. Venerated locks on. Maybe that's fine. What about Krenko? He's a good one. I'm going to take Krenko. We're not committing to these first two colors just yet. Ooh. If one or more counters will be placed on a creature, put that many plus one. Hmm, that, seems, that seems bananas. Also, Helio cares about counters too, right? Everybody cares about counters, Michael. It's 2021, bro. Oh, thank God. McGimp isn't cutting us. That would have been so horrible. Who? Oh, McGimp? Yeah. I'm not in your deck. I'm all open. You, what is that you're drinking? It smells like medicine. It's your favorite drink from Starbucks. Oh, really? But with no water, that might have something to do with it. Oh, God. It's so strong. It does have a bit of a smell. A bit of a smell. It's got a bit of a smell. Remember that time I didn't get you one? <laughs> Unbelievable. Fucking hater. Talisman of Unity. Uh... Seems pretty good in our two-color deck. Oh, oh, oh boy. That's it. That's a good one. This one just gains you like eight life or ten life. Yeah, it's fine, but I'm gonna take a hydra. Why gain life when you can kill? Oh, a temple garden? What a time to be alive. I almost kind of want feet, though. Feet's real sweet. I got them sweet feet. Is that like sweet meat? Maybe. Hmm. It's hard to say, though, you know. Spike feet is classic, but I don't know if it's as, as good as uh, the land of the feet. But I don't know if it's good as the land of or the feet colors. and the land Take of the, the feet. feet and the feet and the land of the land of the feet. Be greed. I think feet is good. It protects your guy. I'm taking it. Take it. Put it in my pot. Oh, we get to take a shalai when we're in two, when they're in those colors. Oh yeah, that's the. Uh... Under table. Wow. Wow. Look, your favorite Enoch Bonkin. Think of the combo, Michael. Oh, we could yeah, also take combo. Shambling Vent, and we have Verdant, so we could actually splash black pretty easily. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it feels like it's not really much a risk to lose the stupid Bonkin. If it was the guy that gave lifelink, that'd be a different story, but... Remember that time your mama gave lifelink? No. <laughs> Me neither. I <laughs> got him. 
Wow. What? How embarrassing for you, man. I'm all right. Jesus. What a nerd. What an absolute Melvin. <laughs> There's a PlayStation down here. Yeah, kick it. I'd rather not. It was expensive. How do you know? Because I paid for half of it. Wow. In case you forgot. <laughs> I didn't. I just wanted to hear your humble brags. Yeah, big brags. That's what they call you? Good thing you ordered, though, because if I try to get it, I'd probably never be able to. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Jake, it took like seven months for Jake to get one, so. Oh, no. Here, oh, we here go. he goes. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. One Melvin buck. Oh, yeah. Nice. I give it to him. Thanks for Lance Jones specifically this time for Carrie Carry Caber Caberga. I uh I will always be cube drafting when available. Oh, what up, Beer Man Man? I was just chatting with Beer Man Man on the Book of Faces. A B C D. You know? Always be cube drafting. I am always be cube drafting. I know. It's the only format you care about. It's the only two formats I care about. What, cube drafting is only two formats? This is the only two formats you care it's about? It's one of the only two formats. Is that what Primal he said? Night might have banger. Who? Oh, it's a fight e-boy? Yeah, but it's real good. Does it give tramps? No. But you just kill the blocker and then you just slam on through. <laughs> slam slam on through. Also, there's a Nissa. Baby, you want me to take this Nissa? Green, white. I mean, that's a good Nissa. Hopefully the uh I, guy tables. Katie said okay. So Oh, you remember this guy? No, because you're stupid and you don't remember I, anything. No, I, I do remember that guy. No, you don't. He was almost playable in standard, I think. Or was he in like one deck? I don't remember. I don't know, actually. I feel like he was in like one deck. I do love it. I still don't find Arena appealing and I have tried it so much animations and lack of eternal cards. Yeah. That's I mean that's true. That's I think Elspeth Conqueror's Death is probably gonna be better though. This card's just uh and it's removal. Just a sweetie boy. With upside. That's a sweetie boy. Okay. The sweetie boy. I kind of like this Aurelia. And we also have Showdown. Maybe we're just... I mean, there's nothing else in this pack that's any good. I don't care about Den Protector or Courage and Crisis. This yeah, is a, I mean, you can... Also a sorcery? Come on. But it does have counters, which matters. So but it's, oh, it's a three mana sorcery, though? Oh, ugh. Right, it's not like it's one mana I thought it was two something. mana, and then I was like, okay. Three mana, though? Oof. That's the one that, like... It uh, it gives a counter to a thing when you attack, or plus two plus zero. That's it, right? Let's see. Let's see. Somebody translate for me. I don't understand what you're saying. Hey, yeah, that sage is pretty good in this deck. Oh, so is Night of Autumn. Though. Night of Autumn is just a banana, Michael. No, it's a knight. Banana, Michael. Ba 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 da ba. Banana, Michael. Ba ba da ba. Look at this guy. One one, one for one, and uh, dies, when it you dies, you get a treasure. He's like, I know, I play Commander by Franklin. I almost called him my name. He's not even good. Well, I think Raging Green is probably the pick here. Oh, we can also play Cranko and Showdown if we do that. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going Naya here. And so it begins. The fixing in this one looks really good. It's the... No, I've, I think the, the fixing in this one's actually really good. Our fixing has been Wait, great. How, you think the fixing... What, we, we, there's duels, shocks, and fetches. And doesn't really and get, creature lands and filter lands. Yeah, it doesn't really get much better. Yeah, than that, it's man. like you literally have all the fixing. Pretty sure I've seen some tri lands here and there too, right? I don't know. I could have swore it was like one of the worst ones. It's like in the uh, we play tapped. Oh boy, look at that sweet sweet boy. Yeah, now we get a fire lit ticket. Oh, luminous brood moth though. Oh, this card is ridiculous. No flip lands? You mean the dual face lands? No, I don't think so. Those lands are bangers. Ever since playing them in actual decks, they're just real good. Primordial Hydra. You like this guy? That's a good one. Okay. Hydras deck, baby. There is three Hydras in our deck. Oh, Stomping Ground? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can get that with a Verdant Catacomb, too. So, you know, it's pretty sick. Living the dream. 
Now we just need a white land to grab. Oh, wait. Do we already? No, we didn't pick one up. Dang it. Yeah, we did. Ooh, speak of the devil. Probably going to take that over Primal Might here. But we can't actually grab that with a Verdant Catacomb. So it's well, still if you're going to take a card, better, I would take Abzan Battle Priest because counters and lifelink is pretty strong. But Well, I'm going to take a land because I think it's worth Lands are better. Yeah, I agree. Mana mana. Mike LB. A Mike LB. But that stupid common from Exodus today it was like eight dollars. I'm like, geez. What common from Exodus? The calling the week. Yeah. Oh, interesting. This is a new Modern Horizons. Oh, boy. I can read it, but I assume you want to download it so we can have a little chatty about it. Oh, that is exciting. Guys, this is the buy a box promo for Modern Horizons. And apparently it's old border. Which, which says two sick. things. One is that there are going to be more old bordered cards, card, which are banging. And two, oh, wow. I'm so, I'm so excited about this now. Uh, this guy's fine. Oh, and this, here's some more. We didn't go over the first one, but okay. For, well, it's a Sanctum Prelate. It's an existing card. It is? Yeah, it's three mana. You choose a number, non-creature spells with mana value equal to the chosen number can't be cast. I never even knew that card existed. Well, they're not going to make an old border card no, if the card uh, yeah, isn't yeah. In, already... That's, yeah, that's a good point. Like, because the old border treatment is like an upgrade. Right, yeah. And now we have Brainstone, which is a new card, I imagine. I have never seen this card. One mana, sacrifice Brainstone, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. So it's just a bad Brainstorm, and but it's colorless? That's an artifact, though. Also, you just we just proved your theory wrong by a new card with old borders. But it comes oh. in an old border, a new, a new border. Right. So they're... So they made it in a new border. Right, but at the same time. So they're breaking a rule that existed before. Welcome to Magic the Gathering, where the rules don't matter, or the points don't matter, and the rules are made up. <laughs> Michael's also made up. Scourge of the Throne, dethrone, everyone attacks for the first time. He's attacking the player with the highest life on 10 all attacking creatures. Double attacks. Also double red, though. This pack is pretty bad. I don't think we can make pod work. Scrubland does uh, let Verdant Catacomb get a white mana. It's basically the same as getting a plane. Yeah. yeah. yeah Except no. you can yeah. get it off of a different thing, so you probably should take it. I don't think we're missing out on anything here. I don't hate Wanderer Strike, Exile, and Proliferate. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Marsh Flats. What can we get with that? Scrubland and that's it. That's it. Okay, so it's basically just getting planes for us. Um, we can just play here. What about Wheel stomp. of Misfortune? Card's very good in Commander, but not is it really? Good. It's pretty decent. Yeah, it's also a fun kind of little game you can play. I mean, it's a wheel. It's all good. All wheels are good. It's not a good wheel if you're like two or whatever, but it's very confusing. I just read it and I'm like, I had to read like eight times before I understood it. So, oh, new counterspeller. Oh, I do like that one better. Apparently, there's like a video going on right now. Oh, boy. Wait, that's a land? Oh, no. Oh, geez. They're getting crazy. No, this, oh, my God. It's an enchantment land? Yes. Oh, come on. Also, look at this old treatment here. All right, let's figure out this pick here. Uh, treasure map seems good. I'll take a treasure Over map. Over hero? Mm -hmm. Hero's great, but I mean, like, I feel like we have a lot of four drops right now. Badlands also lets Verdant Catacombs get red, but we do also have... Oh, let's take this Johnny. See, I'm going to take another four drop now because this Johnny is friggin' ridiculous. Yeah, that guy's pretty insane. I do like stirring Wildwood here. Does it like you back? Oh, uh, you could also take the Falconer, which gives all your dudes flying, which is pretty pretty good. All your plusy boys. I think I just want mana fixing here. Okay. I don't care about Falconer that much. I don't know. I think it's good, but... What about Lifeblood Hydra? You like that guy? Triple green, though. Hmm. I want to take Sylvan Carry added. Yeah, it seems better. 
Oh, banishing light. An old border banishing light. Wow, exciting things are happening right now. I'm trying to like... Wooded Bastion, Vivid Meadow. Yeah, like the fixing seems insane in this format. Like, Trevor, there's a timer on a pick, so we'll, we'll go over in a sec. Uh, yes, the Brainstorm card was a spoiler. These are all Modern Horizons 2 spoilers. Hey, they finally gave White some card draw. That's sick. Where? The, is the Brainstorm on the color of this thing? <laughs> it's about as good as it gets. I see what you did there. I think I'm just taking this. I mean, it's kind of cool to give a brainstorm effect to. I think a bunch of these cards are going to come back. So I think we're on blue. I think it's actually Inscription of Abundance. And I'm going to play it for five. Okay, so real quick an enchantment to land. So you're going to play it as a land. It adds colorless, right? So that's the first step. Second step, it no longer adds colorless, I guess. And Ursa Saga gains two and a tap, create a zero, zero colorless construct with this gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control. This does not pump it because it's not an artifact and it's enchantment, so that's interesting. And third step, search your library for an artifact with mana cost zero or one, put it into the battlefield, and shuffle. I feel like the card would be good based on the format it's played in. That's interesting. I mean, put it in cube and you can search up a mox or a soul ring or a skull clamp or something. Also really, really liking this like sketch version. Well, it's essentially, it's like it's kind of like a, a mox, like a colorless mox that does stuff. Or it's like a lotus petal kind of, right? Because you can only use it for one turn as mana. None of these cards are any good. I'm just going to take the dragon because it's 5-5. Five, five. Maybe we play it. Mm, double red, probably not. What are these? Apparently these are D&D &D lands. Oh, is it like a secret layer? Uh, probably. Marsh Flats came back. Marsh Flats come back. Good, thank you. I'm gonna take this because if the Badlands comes back, then that's kind of cool. Valor Stance or Tree Speaker? Tree Speaker. Breeding Pool. Falconer. Oh yeah, Falconer came back. It gains the ability but never loses it. Who said that? Oh, because it does say it gains the ability. Yes. So you can actually just oh. keep activating it. Oh, okay. Oh, and also on on phase three, it just does it die? Hold on. I didn't know sagas normally die, but don't they normally say that too as part of the third oh, yeah, thing? That, that guy was the guy I was hoping came back. Um sacrifice after the third yeah okay so, right. so you it, still do it's time. still like it's like a gemstone mine you know seems pretty good then if you can use it for manage time oh fuck oh yeah baby oh yeah baby oh yeah that's what papa likes oh boy how many boxes you want to buy <laughs> i'm getting a case you want to get you want to each get a case and we'll split these wait that's the same thing as buying <laughs> <laughs> well those are gonna be like super expensive very soon oh god those look amazing yeah they do look great and and they're the ones that they haven't printed in a while too besides the great now i have to get these instead of my expeditions that i currently have well that's up to you but you guys want to see diamond lion discard two two for two discard your hand sacrifice diamond lion add three mana of any one color oh it's a lion's okay. eye diamond so they've put a lion's eye diamond on an actual magic card i'm out can't play magic <laughs> anymore <laughs> michael did you think lion's eye diamond wasn't on an actual magic card originally no but like why why has it got to be a creature now because <laughs> they always do that like magus of the xx or whatever like yeah but that's only two mana which is a lot different than three okay so we found more dungeons and dragons uh, adventures in the forgotten realm card as well one mana for a po portable hole when portable hole enters the battlefield exile a non-land permanent opponent controls with mana value two or less until it leaves the battlefield so yeah. it's basically like a one mana that's actually decent it's kind of like a silk wrap effect power word kill 
Uh, very dark. If this was back in the 90s, parents would hate this. It's a sick art. Destroy a non-angel, non-demon, non-devil, non-dragon creature. That's actually kind of sweet. It feels like a Seth, what's the name of art? Even though I don't think it is. Right? It's Izzy, Michael. Izzy. And this is actually pretty good. Um, this is a solid removal spell. Like, it reminds me a lot of Victim of Night, but easier to cast and probably a little more flexible because most of the creatures you wanted to kill with Victim of Night were in the set, right? We're in the set, right? Like, they're like you're drafting this in limited and you're like, I guess I can kill three guys. Um, whereas this card's probably not going to be as restrictive. Yeah, look, they printed a card that wasn't for Commander. And then Prosperous Innkeeper, 1-1 one, one for 2. When it enters the battlefield, make a treasure. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield, gain a life. Oh, that's sweet. That's just a two mana soul warden with upside. Yeah, with a with the token built in. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm I'm like my Twitter feed's kind of going going wild right yeah, now. Yeah, just released two three sets all in the same time with the previews. So why not? Yeah, can we just stick to Modern Horizons so and do D and D later? <laughs> I'll show more as they show up and and they're interesting, but. Yeah, I've never bought in a case before, but I actually might consider it because of the fetches. Like, also considering this, I hate when cards are named after sets. Like this card, like the card called Urza Saga. Like whenever you Google it, or whenever you're like, I'm gonna try to pick up an Urza Saga on eBay, you're gonna literally have every card from Urza Saga show up. Yeah, that's a good point. Also, keep in mind this is the first time I believe that these are in old borders. Yes, 100%. They haven't done Old Borges in any fetches before. So I'm not sure. I believe the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms is an actual set. I think that is the next magic set, standard set. This is Tiamat. Uh, two and Wooberg, so seven. Seven, seven for seven. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, search your library for up to five dragon cards that each have different names, reveal them and put them in your hand. That's actually pretty insane. I thought I was going to, I thought for sure I was going to say put them on the battlefield and I was like, oh Christ. You need to search for, not for seven mana. That's more like a 10 mana ability. Still you need, good though. You need to search for Urza Saga, Urza Saga. That's, <laughs> that's how search engines work. Uh, we need two cuts. I'm going to cut the tree speaker because I don't think we're a tree speaker deck. You're more of a five drop. Well, in case you need another, I play dragons commander deck. They printed another I Play Dragons Commander Commander. Commander Commander Commander. There's only like three commanders that are specifically about dragons in five colors. Or okay. maybe more. Stomping. Scrubland. Raging. Plateau. Marsh Flats still only gets... Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Let's get down to Marsh Flats. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cut one. Oh, I don't, I don't blame you. Because the, I mean, the expeditions are still fantastic. Here we go. This looks. This is better. This is a better representation. Go. Okay, so these have to go in the vintage cube now. Previously in the vintage cube, I had the Zendikar expeditions, but now I'm just gonna put these in there because. Good grief. They just look so good. Just like they're, if anything like the other old borders, they're going to be like, to the moon. Straight to the moon. Boot to the moon. Jazz hand. How soon can I pre-order? <laughs> this is how they get you, man. All right, I mean, if you're going to buy, if you're going to buy boxes, if there's fetches in it, it's worth it at that point, but. So I've already heard they're going to be like not as printed, obviously, as normal sets. So boxes are probably going to be real expensive real quick. I need one for my magic card hole. That's a good idea. There's a hole in the wall where Kerwood keeps all his magic. 
Dang it. I've only played is. Dungeons and Low Level Mobs only because you keep dying. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good times. Yeah, there's a counter spell. I think we forgot to show that one, or did we? I don't uh, know. You mean the one I downloaded and showed? I don't remember if we no, showed it. No, I showed it. I like that art better than the other this new one? art. Yeah. I mean, I just got the collector's edition today, so I'm probably going to keep that one. And you probably still want to keep the other full art for the other cube, right? Uh, the other one doesn't have a counter spell, I don't believe. It's not a very... Oh, it's not playing that cube, gotcha. Wait, does that mean counterspell? Oh, wow. This will put counterspell in modern. Oh. That does seem relevant. I mean, I don't think that's... I, so the thing is, like... It's modern a very... Plenty of counterspell. It's right? very common consensus that counterspell is not super overpowered for modern because in many situations, due to mana constraints, mana leak, mana leak is actually... Or, or remand. remand. Are actually better in a lot of situations yeah it's an led but it also costs two mana and it, you do have to give it haste or wait a turn so it's definitely less powerful still probably it's also it. a two two like yeah oh what are you gonna do shock it oh you shocked it oh it's dead although i'm pretty sure that's gonna be a banger in competitive commander because you can just like search it with tesseret or something silly or like the tinker that you pay x or world invention Yeah, but Modern also has things like Cavern of Souls, and a lot of the most popular decks can take advantage of that. Like, I mean, I think Modern is a, a very, very diverse format that is not going to be... Also, like, Snapcaster Mana Leak is often, like, it, it's a fast format where you can almost never pay for Mana Leak. That's probably, that probably comes up very little. So, you could already kind of do that. Yeah, that's the thing about Modern. Like, usually, like, people have four to five lands at most. So yeah. like if I'm if I'm mana leaking something, you're, it's probably not resolved. Yeah, mana leak might as well just be actual counter spell. I'm sure there's a few ramp decks, the niche that might be able to play around it like a little later in the game, but I imagine that's not often the case. I guess if you're playing against Tron, it's very good because Tron can always usually pay, right? Tron will pay. <laughs> okay, hold on. There's oh okay, hold on. There's a beholder card. I don't know what it does though. Where's the text on this bad boy? Buddy, they're gonna stop printing text on him. Everything's gonna be flawed, and you have to look it up every time you play a card. Also, the um, the oh, there's a classic rule book frame for these. That looks fantastic. I don't know what the card does, but that is sweet looking. Okay, well, we're gonna let this resolve. My opponent's gonna be like, "Why are you taking so long?" I'm like, "Cause there's spoilers everywhere." Hmm. I'm going to do that now. I was like, how do I get rid of this Drana? And then I was like, oh, I drew a Banishing Light. And it was, and it was good. It's a case cost these days. <laughs> uh, Modern Horizons, probably like eight to 1200. I'm not sure. Yes. B hold. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I mean, this is one of the few times with the fetches you can actually like. It's a very solid argument that buying a case is an investment, though. I mean, if you open it, it's not. <laughs> if you leave it closed, probably. Hmm, that's also a good point. Destroy an artifact. This guy. Oh, we just win the game because we had a knight of autumn. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm so poor, though. Dang. Welcome to America. Welcome to America today. Well, if you start saving right now, you probably won't have enough time because it'll come out in, like, I don't know, like three weeks or something. Oh, what's happening just... here? Let's get a higher. Oh, yeah. Three yards for the Jesus. Now we got a Vorpal Sword. Well, one is probably the promo, yeah. So Vorpal Sword, one black. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus oh, and death touch. Mm -hmm. Equipment for two. So not not bad. For eight mana, Vorpal Sword gains whenever equipped creature does combat damage to a player. That player loses the game. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun for Commander. Well, you got a flyer in eight mana? All right. I guess I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely going in my, 
Edric deck. Sure. That's kind of hilarious. Or, or Edgar, rather, not Edric. I get the Swedish boys confused sometimes. You get the Eds confused? Yeah. The two tribal boys. I mean, that feels just like a snap included in almost every black commander deck. I mean, because the rate, aggressive. the rate on its on its face is fine, right? It's just like plus yeah, two already, plus zero. Yeah. You equip for two, fine. not a big deal. Giving any creature death touch is yep. is versatile. Yeah. And then and then later on, it's like oh, oh you yeah. have no blockers. I have eight mana. Okay, you're dead. All right. And also gotcha. in commander, like even if you're like I got removed one, I'm like, well, I have my commander out, so I just have these free things that make it so you, you didn't do anything. But I mean, like also like in commander, like you can have other players clear the way if you want to kill someone else. Yes, you can be like, like I got a one one. You have one blocker. Hey, can you get rid of his blocker? I'll kill him. Or you're gonna be like, like oh. well, I don't think I can beat this opponent right now, and I could just kill you right now. But if I don't kill you, can you kill him? <laughs> yeah, th those things happen in commander sometimes, yeah. although less than people think. Or maybe I just play with Mitch. You said, I mean, it is Vorpal. What is Vorpal in terms of D and D? I don't. I'm actually unfamiliar. I'm not a yeah, huge. We don't, we don't know. Anything I don't know D and D lore. I played D and D literally once. It was fun though. I would do it again. I recently heard the phrase America is a third world country with a Gucci belt and it made me crack up. It's spot on, actually. Oh, Vorpal automatically beheads on a critical hit. <laughs> it's meant for it's meant for Gorgons, I suppose. Mm, that is flavorful. From Medusa's. Um Oh geez, you can just play with like crack or whatever that stupid black commander is. Oh boy. Yeah, also if they have trample, because it's already giving death touch. Yeah, that's a fun interaction. Then you can just hit hit the creature for one and then then hit their face for Man, the rest. everyone learns that lesson hard when they die. They're oh, like, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, why did I die? I'm at seven. You're only attacking for eight and I block for four. No, no, no. No, buddy. We're coming to Michael B's house. And again, they're playing things in Commander that end the game for eight, man. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, well. they print. There's a card that says draw half your deck in black. I don't know if you guys know about that one. It's pretty silly here into the abyss look at this little guy that basically wins you the game so does a odd odd gymnasium odd gymnasium <laughs> look at this guy and his little his little cute affinity deck look at his little cute can't you get artifacts or anything colorless artifacts bro okay I want to kill the Emery. It's just too good. Especially when you already have two artifacts and then these guys are just going to start going to the trash can today. I want to play this because next turn I want to play a forest. And if I play this next turn, I want to play a mountain and they're going to know I have a forest and this gives them the least information. Big brain play. We're coming. <laughs> You still have Katie in the title or something? No, she's not mentioned anywhere. Oh. How dare you, third eye Cheon. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that old fable passage. Oh, fudge. Look at this. Is that a secret lair? What's that from? Who knows? Uh, okay, so this is an old promo fable passage after June 18th, buying $50 or more sealed product at your local store. That's pretty sweet. That is a promo failed passage for buying sealed product at your local store. What is this thing? Michael, so what I does just, our mix do? It's trash. I don't remember. Whenever it deal, whenever it attacks, you may discard a card. When you do, target creature defending player controls gets negative X, negative X, where X is the number of artifacts you control, plus the number of... That's actually pretty good. Also, I may have pre-ordered another secret layer. Which one? I got the shocks and the cool arts ones. The cool arts ones. The one that has Gamble in it. That one. I didn't get the Texas Lands. Although part of me is like, I should have just bought the, the bundle and just held them, sell them later or whatever. But Yeah, why don't you get a bundle, you big stupid? I guess I don't care for them, but I could just look at it as an investment. I don't know. Whatever. Just wait. They're going to have old border shocks. Then you're going to feel real dumb. Yeah, then I'll just sell the other ones and buy those. Like a dummy. Okay, so they have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. 
I think they should have a. I think they should make a secret layer that doesn't have any cards, and instead it's just a fancy deck box. What? Hold on. Mystery boosters, the convention center edition, with playtest cards, are coming to local game stores. Okay, I, just, I can't handle this. All this is way too much, dude. I love the playtest cards so much; they're super cool, and uh, that's kind of neat. They're cool. You can't technically play them in Commander, so I usually ignore them, but. I want to play this guy and keep both Feet of Resistance and, like, if we play a 4-drop, they can easily just kill it with Armix. Next secret layer, Ronald McDonald's confirmed. Oh, man, Katie would love it. I would definitely buy that as a joke for Katie if that was the thing that really happened. <laughs> they keep announcing these secret layers publicly like fools. Don't they know what a secret is? Not very secret, is it? <laughs> are those reprints? Yeah, that's fine. No, these are from the Historic Anthology on Arena. Dude, whatever people are watching right now, I definitely need to go back and watch it tonight because. It seems like there's a ton of sweet news happening. Well, there's at least two sets and some kind of other booster and then an arena thing. and It's one standard set, which is the Adventures of D&D set. Modern Horizons. Two or three or whatever the fuck it is. And then the mystery packs, right? So far? Uh, the mystery boosters and the fabled passage at local game stores. Okay, so we're going to go feet here. That seems like a lot of things. Give it pro black. And then we can block too, so it's kind of like a two for one. If that's the thing you're into. This is the reason why I can never get into comics. I'm too overwhelmed because too many things are constantly coming out similar now it's definitely true like there is a like the biggest issue oh, is yeah. fomo like you don't want to feel like something something cool came out and you couldn't get it like that's a terrible feeling but on the same hand like i think you have to realize that it is a you feeling like you don't have to have everything and it doesn't make things worse simply because you don't have them if that makes sense oh, what up music manly Yeah, let's do this. So as a commander player, this is great because a lot of these cards are kind of commander pushed. They're always that way but, now. That's just how things are designed, I think. Yeah, I did listen to your whole podcast, and then you guys are pretty spot on on that. Anyway. Um, anyway. <laughs> what was I going to say? She... Oh, so whenever new sets come out, like with you do with Cube, I like look at cards where I'm like, oh, this could go in this deck or this deck or this deck. And it takes a while. But now I'm just like... Just can't keep up. Okay, this could be interesting. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, we just won the game. All right. Well, that was a good match. In July, we're running a short but exciting event called Mirror Mirror. Uh, imagine a world where Oko Thief of Crowns was printed with balanced abilities and became just another great historic card. What if Tefri Time Roller was printed with where he was more of a friend than foe to the format? In Mirror Mirror, you'll explore this other universe of decks featuring rebalanced versions of some of Historic's iconic band cards. This legendary event won't stay around for long, but you'll just have to wait and see what's inside later this year. That's interesting. Well, it's it, I, I assume that means they're not paper cards, so I'm okay with that one. <laughs> yeah, but then like maybe they could be reprinted. No, oh, you're right. Oh, but they're they're balanced. Like that's the whole point. If they're not balanced, then they're not going to be printed. Yeah. I was so good. He play. He sees playing commander sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right. And so Super Avengers, like, said the same kind of thing. Like, if it turns out, like, people liked it, they yeah, they might make paper later. Well, Nature's Little Treasure. Modern Horizons is modern or older formats. That's when we look at it. It's what? Modern Horizons only legal in modern or older correct formats yeah. or eternal or format. What, what do you want to say? You know what I mean? What do you want to say? Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well. Man, that's DiGiorno. Of course you did. Mm, what did you say about banging. DiGiorno? That was good, man. 
Did you eat the whole thing? It was nice and crispy on the edges. No. But I did the last two pieces. I didn't really want to eat, but I wanted the cheese. So I picked off the crusty cheese and ate that. By crusty, I mean crispy. Beautiful. I don't want to waste it, you know? I didn't want to waste it. And I feel like all the spoilers are done now, and I'm really sad. I feel like they gave you quite a bit. <laughs> Don't get greedy. <laughs> well, with all these lands, you're sure going to make a big-ass Hydra. You know, if you're not dead. Oh, I'll be dead, all right. Yes, that is basically what's happening here. People are taking clips for the magic. Yeah, that's that's what's right. Correct. Sure. I do love that. How every time people ask for more fetch lands, they always print in a set where it's like hard for regular players to get. So it actually kind of defeats the purpose. Well, it's still fetch lands. I mean, fetch lands are fetch lands. Like. I guess it's still overall probably keeps the prices a little lower than they would be. It's still more fetch lands in the market, and older ones get are less valued because there's right. new cool. Also, you ones. can just randomly run into a shop and buy a pack as opposed to the other fetches you have to like actually order online or you know. What? You sound like a crazy person. Let's cast this guy for just this amount. It's like a one, two, three, four. God, one more white pip, and then they're they're going to they're going to town. When are they going to replant the floaty lands? What's the floaty lands? Oh, this is so. This is the this is the normal misty rainforest from the set. Oh, so they're both. Yeah. So now there's twenty. Now there's even more, and yeah. these are rare, not mythics. Right. So so that should actually lower the price. Yeah, that's a good thing. Oh, good. A hero I just assume they're only hold board. borders, but I'm glad they're not. Man. <laughs> Back at the moon. Bang. I, I, I read your message, Katie. <laughs> He's responding now. I do like how she had to come here to tell me that she beat the Obama. My gall. My gall. Well, we definitely need to draw something to deal with this hero of Blade Hold because, you know, reasons. Oh, yeah. I'm a. I'm the kind of dude that like I'd rather have my cards be less worth less if more people can play the game. I think this is probably okay. That's uh, why in the the House of Mutuals magic games, proxies are A OK. One, two, three, activate, block here. Put two counters. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. It seems versatile enough. In the house of Mutual's magic games, that's what we play today. <laughs> oh, Michael B, Michael B, Michael B, Michael B, Michael B, Michael B. The house of Mutual. Come for the Mutual, stay for the Hoochal. That sounds oh, scandalous. Yes. The Hoochal. This looks scary. You look scary. I don't know if your snake boys are going to be enough. I got my stirring wild wood. Do 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 do. There's a lot of things here that are happening. Four, so you got a chump there. 
block you, block you, block you, and block you. So we take four. Why wouldn't you? Why? Put a snake in front of the hero to kill it. Because I'm also going to. Oh, you got tricks. Oh, yeah, big tricks. All right. We're at five. You know, all things considered, that wasn't that bad. Until we die. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to draw some, some action. Until we die, Michael B. Don't kill my treasure map, bro. You're thinking about it. But I mean, you can't really use it to draw cards next turn anyway. Yeah, but once I flip it... Then you'll rip it, you know? Flip it and rip it. Hmm. Well, shit. That was not a creature or a removal. It's okay. It's okay, man. Hmm. So well, he's going to attack with at least two four fours. How's there's only one four four? It's gonna mentor. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> also, I have one blocker, so if he pumps any a little bit, we die. Pump it any little bit. Well, they're just drawing lands here, so that's good. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. So we're going to go one, two, three. Make a big old stirring boy. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> what? Because uh, we have to actually tap it to to save it. Oh, so you couldn't have tapped the thing to make white because you would take right. one. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you could have tapped differently, but... What? You could have tapped differently. No, I couldn't have. You could have used the sovereign ground for green and one of the planes for white, and then used the other one for... No, wait, no. I only have yeah. one white source off yeah, of Talisman, right. outside of Talisman, and Stirring Wildwood. So, like, I have to either use the Stirring Wildwood or use the Talisman, and... You had a planes, though, right? Yes, and I had to use that to activate right, the Stirring yeah, Wildwood. Okay. Well, shucks. Don't tell me I could have tapped different, you little shit. I mean, it was a bad opener in a lot of lands, so I think we'll get him next time, champ. <laughs> oh, thanks, Pa. Anytime. Soren. Soren? Yeah. Hmm. You know what feels wrong flavor-wise? I don't play any copies of Soren in my vampire commander deck that is weird but like there's just better things to pump your creatures do you hate fun michael and he doesn't actually make a vampire took when you cast him so kind of maybe Krenko. i mean he does on one of his abilities but he doesn't trigger your eminence or whatever your eminence yeah my eminence <laughs> my liege uh god Nah, man, you gotta ship it. Johnny's not very good without creatures. <laughs> this hand is a banger. See you later, Hydra Bush. Hydra Bush? Yeah. Okay. Three lands, three spells. Basically perfect. My name is Little Michael, and I live inside the tree. Man, that card Ink Shield is nuts. I got three little pieces of fiction except for Fribble That's amazing, buddy. Oh, nice. Oh my god, that's awesome, dude. Congrats. I'm going to leave this up so I can read it. That is a tough call on which one to play there. Oh, they're not online. Okay. 
Oh, I can pre-order it though. What'd you say? What did you say? It was a tough choice on which creature to play there. What did you say? I, I just said it. Would you like me to repeat it? <laughs> okay. Okay, Michael. If you're going to be like this, buddy. I don't, I don't know what's going on. All right. Yep, sounds, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, everybody had a good time. Who? Name one person who had a good time. Actually, you're right. It was nobody. Yeah, no one's having fun <laughs> right now, okay? We don't play magic for fun. <laughs> I play it to feel bad about my life choices. Oh, that was a good game. Solid. So both both sides played hard. I'm going to submit my deck again. I think this is a keep. For sure, bro. It's got all of our Colares. That sounds like a delicious Mexican treat. I'll have the uh, chicken colares <laughs> with the, uh, look at the green sauce on it. And a side of crema. Michael, why is the crema they give you never good enough? I just want some more, okay? God. Oh, jam, jam on a night of fucker. The, yeah, you stupid dummy. <laughs> it just makes it a two mana two through the first track. It's basically a draft card. <laughs> Go back to your regular draft, nerd. Okay, well, that guy doesn't do anything either. This one only gets counters on things that already have counters, right? Yeah, like... Dummy. You know this guy? Oh, I know that guy. You know Mana Georgie? <laughs> oh, Georgie. You'll float or something. Oh, wow, they deck and stoned it. Okay. Yeah, right. but they got a counter first, so who really won, you know? You mean a token? Do you a even, token? Do you even play... What? Yeah, we got a got a counter first. Oh, it, it did. I thought you meant we were getting a clue. No, it although did. I did forget that's a thing that happens with that card. Yeah, man, we're living the dream, bro. I'm just gonna kill this, Georgie. I'm just gonna kill this, Georgie. <laughs> Meanwhile, some people may have no idea what we're talking about. Everybody knows. Everybody knows it, bro. I guess it's pretty iconic. It's only 40 years old, man. I feel like they've had time to catch up. Everybody, um, we all float down here, Judge. Everybody, we all float down here? I don't think that's the quote, man. Well, you'd be wrong. So, how's it feel being wrong? Well, I'm not, so. Yeah, well. Wrong it is. Also less than 10 years old? Yes, because of the remake, but. Yeah, it's both 40 years old and less than 10 years old at the same time. This is going to sound stupid, but is Old Steven also involved with um, Old Steven uh, Shining? Yes. He wrote okay. The Shining and he I, wrote it. I, was, I just couldn't remember. I, he wrote it. I know he didn't direct it. It was directed by Little Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Little Jimmy. That's what his friends call him. <laughs> That's what everybody calls him. That's a really good movie. I bet Katie's never seen it. She might be too scared of it, though. It's pretty scary. You know what else is scary? No. Tell me. You know. I don't. That's why Michael, I you know. Old it. Yeah, it's a bit aged. I don't know how to actually deal with this guy now. We made fun of him, but now it's like a 5-5. Five five. It's only because he had support. But he still had it, and now it's still that. So he's been, The first drag is almost irrelevant. He's just a 4-4. Four four. Why don't you just block with... Oh, because he can give it. Because then yeah, they give yeah, it a yeah. counter, and that's a 5-5, mm -hmm. five, five, and then come on, man. Just... You'll be fine. Michael, they're coming for you. We're going to 5, but you play your Heliod, you get some life, you you do the things, you know, man? Buddy, I know, Actually, dude. Heliod, doesn't it just, like, you attack, mentor, right. and get lifelink and stuff? Nothing gains lifelink, no. Wait, doesn't it... Never mind. There you go. Get it out of your system. You can still do it, though, but you have to pay two life. I mean, I kind of just like keeping feet up here. Let's crack this clue. Let's see if we can hit another white source. Okay, well. Does she have vigilance? Vigilance? No. 
Okay, so plus two, plus O. Oh, I'm going to choose her. She gets vigilance. She gives herself vigilance. And then we're going to mentor onto this guy. I'm a little confused, but... Wait, why? Because we're at five and they have... I have feet of resistance. It gives pro-white. I think it puts a counter oh, on this. Oh, vigilance, yeah. Four out of the vig. Well, she wasn't tapped, so you didn't even have to remember the vid. You just got to be like, oh, that can block. Hope they don't have a trick. I guess if they do, you still live. Yeah, we're still blocking. Dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Uh, like what, what, what? Dude, the mono white decks in this format are actually really, really good. I was surprised they didn't have anything there. I mean, they have three cards and they have to have like an instant speed trick. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't seem super likely. Swords and path of the Unfortunately, every card in our hand is white. So unless we draw a white source here, it's a red one. Still can't. Uh, can only play one spell a turn here. I feel like you should get Heliod down so that way there's a chance we can untap and give something lifelink to get some, some gains in. Be a little swole, you know? Dumps like that a doesn't drink. put anything on the board, really. So that right, that's my problem. They're also at nine. Why don't you just play a Johnny in game three? I don't hate it. Also, it gives our creatures vigilance too. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh, that's actually really really good. Dumps. Wait, like can you just kill them? Uh, well, they got this guy, so probably not. Wait, hold on. Three, four, five, six. No, not quite. You could force them to block, but I guess that's not really super relevant. This still seems pretty good, though. Oh, I think it's fine. I mean, it's still nine damage. Oh, this they is nine. Yeah, block, they still, yeah. yeah, they still have to block because of the mentor. And they're also going to four, so it really is lethal next turn. Mm -hmm. and their knight is not lethal so that's cool and even if it was they have to get rid of two blockers all right you're a four my dude and one more white source we could have just played an extra creature <laughs> unbelievable why even play the game you know oh that's good okay okay we apparently have a game Oh, that's big life gain. Probably just taking six here because this guy's tapped and then we just get to attack for like 30. Uh, you're attacking me, which seems obvious. No blocks. Don't mm -hmm. think you have a plus two, plus two trick. Sure. Dumps like a truck, truck, truck. That's not going to work. What? Wait, are they just dead? I th I thought so, yes. Even without a Johnny? We got one, two, three. This would be four. I mean, now, yeah, there's like no way, right? Okay, man, we're 2 0. Woo! Now yeah, we, looked at, we looked at them spoilers. Boy, pretty wild. Just got back. We all, yeah, Brett, we, we talked about all of them, bro. Let me see what you're showing. Oh, this Urza saga? Yeah. Yeah, that card's really good. Now that I realize you can tap it for mana every turn as well. Just another busted blue synergy artifact card. I know it's colorless, but it's a blue card. Michael, well, you don't even really know what an artifact is. You wouldn't know an artifact if it jumped up and bit you in the face. Well, my my secret layers have gone from delivery status initiated to preparing, so that's good. I got preparing for the 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 blackest magic one, but the cupid one, no, and the callheim ones now. I gotta remember to do mail forwarding soon. 
dumps like a truck, truck, truck. I was like, what? I wonder why you should start mail forwarding. Where's my, where, how do you click on this? Where is this? Don't they have like a page with information on this that you can click on? That would be too easy. Well, how did you know yours was? Because they sent me a message saying they're debiting and shipping it soon or whatever. Well, yeah, that's this one, but it doesn't say it's preparing. Like I'm talking about the actual status on the page. Oh. Like it literally says delivery status initiated and it used to say preparing. You just made up a bunch of things that you just thought were accurate and you just lied. You just I, didn't, I didn't base off your page. Liar. I based off the email that said it was shipping soon. But that doesn't mean preparing. I don't even know what that means, buddy. See, but you they said cook it. it in the kitchen, throwing a little flour on it, giving it a little baste. What the hell is he talking about? Nobody knows. Maybe better with creatures. You talking about based secret layer, Michael? Greater Gargadon. Look, there's a creature. You happy now? Yes. God, nothing's ever good enough. Let's keep that guy up so we know. I don't feel like that card's good enough anymore for any formats ever. Not even this format that we're playing right now? No. No. It's like, who wants to sack permanents? Permanents are too good these days, man. Yeah, but you sack them when they're about to die. I guess that's cool. No one's, like, sacrificing their primeval titan just for the, for the sake of sacrificing it. But what if you want them real fast? Then you do it. You play primeval titan, you get two lands, you sack all three of them. It's basically a free... free it's like a dark ritual, man. Yeah. Let's like take three extra turns, buddy. You ever seen a blood ghast? Yeah. You ever seen a blood ghast on weed? <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that, man? Yeah. I forget where that's from, but it's a good solid reference. I think it was just a comedy special, right? I don't think I want to play s Scalds yet. I don't know why, but okay. Well, because I have too many things. Like, I, I, I want to be able to, if I hit a land, I want to be able to play that land. So I want to play it next turn and then have the land, play oh, the land from guy, it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's wrong because we just didn't have anything to do this turn, but. Michael B. was born in the sack. <laughs> Aren't we all? He was a burlap baby. <laughs> hey, little burlap baby. Are we going to just die to this greater gargles? I don't think so. Feels like we're going to die. Dumps like a truck. Truck, truck. Muck be like what? Even if you didn't have a trick, like... Is blocking that worth it at all? You really got scared of the flip part? In like two turns from now? I don't know, man. That's whack. I'm just doing big grumbles. Oh, he doing blood gas tricks. Mom did blood gas tricks for me once. What's that mean? She was turning blood gas tricks, Michael. Oh wow. Look at this. They got they got a Gargadon package, man. If that's another land, I swear to I swear to Jesus. I'd probably save that Elspeth. To conquer the Gargi. Well, considering I can't target anything on the board. It's probably what's gonna happen. Hmm. You know? Hey. Yeah. Say. Don't plug a truck, 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 truck. 
I think I'm just going to hold back here. here because they're just going to block and sack anyway, so I might as well have some defense. What did you say? What did you I was, say? I was wondering if they're going to go all in and turn there. Well, when it comes out of suspend, it's not. Uh... Oh, they're putting this on the stack, huh? That's an interesting choice. Oh. Uh, You're paying for the 1-1 one, one and uh, not feeding it to the Gargadon. <laughs> the whole point is to feed it to the Gargadon. You're at 18 and we have a 4-4. Four, four. And I don't know, man. I don't get it. Oh, this is a... Oh, they, they're going to attack to get some damage and then sack them, I guess? I suppose. I mean, even if this guy comes back, like, I'm still rather for rent, too, then... Like, they're just going to sack whatever to the Gargadon anyway. Oh, they didn't sack that to the Gargadon either. I don't know what's what? happening right now. Why would you, what? What? That's the whole point. You literally did it before. It's the point of the Blood Gash in your deck, right? Maybe they're the next level. They're playing it? Do I want a treasure map here? I think they forgot to go to school. I think you definitely treasure map, right? Warden of the first tree, huh? Hmm. That is interesting. I think he's good enough. Recast the soul with a one on counter. Well, this is going to flip this turn. So let's attack first. It'd be pretty epic if they sacrificed everything to get it into play, like right now, to block. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm, I'm kind of like, let's do that. that. Yeah, that would be great. So let's play a forest. Flissa. Oh, we should have played. Oh, fuck. I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would have been good. Yep. That was a bummer. Um, That's an interesting choice. So we can. One, two, three. I'm going to play a block here. Well, I can make a. Yeah, I can. That's what I meant. Like, make a togi. Two. Three. Might as well play this. It's not going anywhere. Let's get rid of the, the bird. Oh, they did it. Look at that. You know, I feel like there's a 50 50 shot there. They actually didn't do it. So. Probably should have played this guy first and put the counter on it from Banishing Light. I misplayed this turn quite a bit, but I'm also not. Oh, because of the. Yeah. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, I forgot about that part two. And part three. There will be no part four. I honestly feel like the only way he loses this game is him randomly gargadoning and getting enough power to do 16. Yeah, so he threw through. the land away. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we wasted one land and one one counter. Which is not ideal. Yeah, so we could have yeah, we could have made a Shia first, then put the counter from Warden onto this. I'll make it a five five. Yeah. yeah so like <laughs> it, it done missed it. Yeah, it turn, turns out I played it the actual worst possible way, so that's that's my bad. Yeah, I blame you. I totally didn't miss it. I was just judging you silently. It's kind of messed up, dude. No, that was a lie. I didn't know any of that. Okay. I'm barely breathing at this point. Well, that's a bummer. Every time I breathe, I got to remind myself to do it. They're, they're trying to figure out, uh, do I need to remove all suspend counters before upkeep? What a bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna be like, uh, do it, do it now. I mean, it doesn't matter search, search when he does it, Google. right? So, like, but I, I, I appreciate that he actually asked me and then trusted my response. You know, like, it's very. I think it's. I think it's a. Uh, 
I think a lot of people will be reluctant to ask their opponent, like, can I do this? I'm going to be like, well, no. If anyone in the chat thought he was ghosting, I'm pretty sure that confirms he's definitely not. I don't feel like a ghoster would ask advice. Also, unfortunately, ghosters are usually people that are better at the game who would already know that answer. Parting thoughts. Look, I, I next leveled because it doesn't have any counters on it. What a sick, sick level, bro. Buddy, you don't even know how good Not my only is level it a next is. level, you predicted the future. God. Some people have all the big genius. Oh, God, here he comes. Oh, Lord, he coming. <laughs> Do we chump or just take it? It depends on what he attacks. I think if he attacks Nissa, we're probably chumping. Maybe not. I don't even know, dude. Feels weird to attack for nine on a one on a one lady. You know? Nine, ten, eleven. We can go to five. I think five is fine. We have Elspeth for this guy. One, two, three, four. Or we take four. I think we're probably taking four here. Is it all your face? Yeah. I'd rather, I mean, like, four seems better than 11. I'm no mathematician, but... You're a math magician. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, showdown at the Skulls. Okay. Make sure you play the creature first. Before you play the deck. Oh, never mind. It's gone. I'm stupid. Two, three, four, five... One, two. <coughs> parting thoughts. More like farting thoughts. Got him, Chris. God, Christopher has the the best burns. Is that getting two counters? Or is he just dying? Baby. He lived. Man, so much work for the old Gargi to go right in the trash can. I mean, it's still the invisible trash can, if that. If that? Yeah. Because the trash can you can't Do even you get back from. that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Who knows, man? Some people might. Maybe you. Don't work here. Where do you work? Downstairs. <laughs> I work in the basement. But in the future, upstairs. Oh wow! Oh yeah, we, we big get, promotion. Big promotion. We working upstairs, boys. <laughs> uh, so we can't save Nissa here. So I'm just gonna block the god the the gr the Groblin because it it's the only one that doesn't come back. Yes, block the Groblin. I did. I just said that. Google. It's like, are you listening or? Oh dang! Oh, we do gain four, right? These are like gold baby. Gold baby? Yeah. <laughs> Who's purple gold baby? Purple katanas. That was a rare treat. Uh, I think we're going to keep that. Corner office in the corner of our new house. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's another thing that slaps about working from home. Yeah. You literally have your own office. I have my own Heliod. We have a Hulk. You like that? Oh, funny, Michael. Deal with it, bish. I've been doing it for years. You've been, you've been a donut for years? I've been a donut for years. You won the game. I mean, your opponent basically had one threat, and we answered it, and the game ended. I won the game. Now, had they... Use their Gargadon more efficiently. Might have had a bit of a better game. How dare you betray the crank? You know what? I actually want Cranko in here. Yeah, don't be dumb. I'd sooner play 41 than cut Cranko. Cranko's the homie. <laughs> Isn't Cranko what, crank what your mom used to do? Wow. <laughs> Isn't that wow. why she got in trouble with the authorities all those years ago? <laughs> yeah, man. That's from all the Cranko. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man. That's a bummer, dude. Oh, what up, Eric? Hey. Hey. Just talking about Michael's mom's habits. 
Yeah, her crank go ahead. <laughs> It's always tragic. She They've was, never printed a bad Cranko. She was taken too soon, you know. Aren't there three Crankos now? There's as many Crankos as you want, buddy. Dang. That's a good one. Just kidding. Oh, that's and how do you feel about the Cranko? Original managing. Uh, I picked one up today, so pretty good. Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, it's pretty good. Keep and we'll pitch. You want to get rid of the borderless one? Uh, probably actually. Yeah. Do you want? Do you? Are you looking for one? Can you My, play the thing in Commander? Can you play Manager in Commander? Yeah. Only since the dawn of Commander. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, Michael. Well, you, I think wish the best, I was... you think the best counterspell ever printed was banned? No, because they made a better one for the format that's free. <laughs> Well, the free one's good, but Mana Drain gives you mana. Free one's better. Then Mana Drain? Mm -hmm. That's wild. It's free. Hmm, I didn't also, they made that. it red, too. They made a free one in red. It's crazy, crazy life they live in the Commanders. In the Commanders? Let me think about how many free counter spells that are legal in Commander. One, two. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Six. There might be like eight free counter spells at this point. I like that he got up to six and he's like, probably eight. Well, I thought about the other two, okay? Did you? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Okay, one of them's like half a counter spell because it's the deflecting spot. But... I'm half a counter spell today. <laughs> So we can play a Johnny clip. Shalai or Luidus Brutal. Oh, this is like a, this is a classic banger. Mommy Simulacrum. He's yep. got the salami for your mommy. <laughs> Still good. Still classic. Sometimes I just vomit out pure gold. Yeah, buddy, you sure do. You sure do. It's like 99% not that, but you know. All right, we're just going to play this. 99% not gold. And then 1% gold. You know how it is. Ow. Ow, I hit my little tootsie. Yeah, I did. Well. The footy foot. Yeah. I don't really want to block this, but like they have a braid. That they've shown us, and I really don't want to be like, oh, block, and then they'll go land, get it back, braid. And I'm like, oh no, the, the bad things have oh, have happened. Also, blocking is not great because he just plays the land and gets it back. So, like, the risk is definitely not worth the reward. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying even if he doesn't have the trick, right? You know? That's what I'm saying. Channel. I mean, is this your wish list? Yeah. It's lengthy, boy. It's like eight pages. God dang. Who's survival? Boy, that card's expensive these days. Huh? Look at this guy. Look at this gentleman. Look at this gentleman caller. He's a good one. It's pronounced Gooden. He's a good one. This is actually great with their deck. Holy smokes. That card's even good if your deck doesn't have synergy with it. Let's put one on counters on my guys. Bibbity bobbity boo. Let's go bangarang. That's what they say in, in Hook. You guys know Hook? Y'all ever seen the Hook? It's one of my guilty pleasures. Things are happening right now. The Zombone is connected to the leg bone. My lord. <laughs> I hear you. <sighs> yeah. That's how Michael sounds. But you need an old border. Uh... Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Fish boy? An old border fish boy. <laughs> yeah. This guy? Mm hmm. Yeah. 
you need a hex page? Old border? Yeah. I don't even know. Okay. Well, I have one, so. Okay, you don't have to yell. That I'm not running in my vampire deck, believe it or not. Oh, interesting. Rufio. 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 So we're not going to, because then they just play, they get back their blood ghast and they put a counter on this. I'm just going to keep my Shalai alive. I'm half my Michael Beale burnt. That is a science fact. Wait, which is the science fact? And Blood Gas plus Yawgmoth is a pretty sick combo. You are always drawing cards. Oh, Flesh Carver is good too. All these sacrifice outlets, man. Oh dear, their deck is great. Hey, little guy. Hey, little guy. Do you guys know about Wally? I don't. I'm unfamiliar. Yeah, that is weird. Maybe you should pay attention. To what? The beautiful baby boy. <laughs> Dictate of Erebus in this format? I don't know. That would completely shrek us hard. Do you know that thing is Flash? Yeah, all the dictates do. Man. You don't even have to have synergy with that card. If you just like, like in Commander, if you just attack with five men open and, and cast it in response to blocks, just everyone just, everything dies. It's all murder. Everything dies. If it dies, it dies. Also, unlike Grave Pract, Grave Pract, it only costs two pips as opposed to three. I guess it does cost one more mana, but. Her deck does have a lot of synergy, but you're still at 20. So. Yeah. <coughs> 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 amazing that's oh now they incredible. got like little little counter loops going on with that other bird other merg other bird merg 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 burgy cheese burgy i'm cheese just gonna take and... oh no i should have blocked this guy oh yeah. oh not my ajonald ajonald no <laughs> A Donald McDonald is going to trash can. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Didn't you hear me say you repeated? <laughs> Buddy, I don't think you could repeat that if you wanted to. Not with as good of a tone. I feel like Yogmoth is just too hard to beat here. Oh, Katie. Katie's outside. Remember that time Katie subscribed to me? Those were the days. She can't afford it. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much to click that prime button. Oh, wait. Yeah, I just... Mm, that's even worse, actually, because she just does it for free. Getting rid of that shalai, huh? Okay. Now they're going to kill Luminous Broodmoth because it doesn't have X-proof anymore. Oh, boy. This is all... This is all you happening. Know, getting stomped. There's a lot of murder going on on their end. Okay. I don't like it. In fact, I hate it. Okay, let's play this line. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, if you murder the Yawgmoth, you're in good shape, right? How can I do that? Ask them. Oh, 
don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Man, am I thinking of the wrong Hydra? I don't know. Oh, yes. I thought this was the fighty Hydra. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Remember when those dogs went crazy? Oh, good. That's good. Well, don't think we're beating that one. I'm going to go to the next game. Yeah, that's all. Well, maybe we can draw like a planar cleansing or something. Yeah, magically, sure. I guess there's a small that guy's, chance. That guy's close, yeah. Okay, let's bring in more things that beat Yogmoth because that guy is... Let's That's bring not... in Quarantine Field. That card seems unbeatable. Yeah, you can field it up. Give him the Field of Dreams. You cut something slow. Like Hooded Hydra? Yeah. Actually, Primal Hydra seems worse. This guy at least makes one ones when it dies. Oh, Song of the Dryad's actually not bad. Oh, I know we had that. That's just Green Oblivion Ring. Green Oblivion Ring. Green Bliv. <laughs> you got Heliod. I agree. He's actually not doing doing anything for us. It's probably good in a slower matchup, but I guess this isn't a fast matchup, but and it doesn't do enough. What's happening right now? I don't know. You tell me. Would you like to play first? I believe I would. I have to go to the bathroom. Again? Mm -hmm. You got to do number two? Yeah, man. You just did. That was like two hours ago. <laughs> oh, you're right. What was I thinking? Yeah, don't be crazy. Probably too much pizza grease. I also had McDonald's for breakfast, so. Michael had McDonald's for breakfast, then a whole DiGiorno pizza for lunch. And a milkshake. And a milkshake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was a bit of an unhealthy day. Just a little bit. Okay, I'll be back. All right, man. See you later. Oh, boy. Michael B. is definitely not on the fasting wagon currently, yes. Not today. We had a bad day. So you had a bad day. A what? Oh god, I didn't see string wildwood. This is just getting worse and worse. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, fuck, I should have played string wildwood. That's such a big mistake, and I feel so like what a stupid mistake. I just didn't see it, so. Falling off the wagon will only make it faster. Basic physics. God, he's right. So we can either play Stirring Wild and only play one of these two, or play Scrubland and play both. We could have actually played all four if I just played Stirring Wild with this turn. It's really frustrating. I mean, we're just going to forsake this. Yeah, a second one in the past two hours. Yep, cast this on. I'm so mad at myself for that.
Okay. Flesh Carvey. And Bastion of Remembrance. Do we have any creatures in our deck or no? I guess I'm just never meant to like actually 3-0. This is very frustrating. I mean, I feel like we have to kill this now because otherwise they just gets much worse. What up, Sammy? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven, eight mana next turn. If we had storing Wildwood, we could have done that and kept up Wildwood. So that would have been cool. Oh, Shake Gently, what up? Glad to hear it. All right. Yep. This is going well for them. Okay, that's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're definitely fighting the Bone Crusher. We're probably going to save this till next turn and just keep up feet here. We'll take one, two, three, four, five. But they have no cards in hand. So nice. Then we can inscription, inscription kill something. But gain like seven life or something ridiculous all right take go to three one two three four we're one mana shy of being able to do this and this so i think we just have to do this Kill the 2-2. Two, two. And then Aurelia next turn is pretty good. Uh, target player gains X life, me, and fight here. One, two, three, four, five. So back at eight. We can take one, we can just take three next turn, actually. I think that's fine. They're gonna draw blood gasp. Okay. Just going to just going five here. Man, where's the Heliod now? Their deck seems great. Okay, that's good. One, two, three, four. Borrelia. Okay, it's two turn clockums. We get to keep up feet. All right. Man, this game has been close. Okay, block, block, we go to three. Excuse me. Excuse me while I kiss this guy.
Okay. Block you, block white creature. Oh man, I think we did it. I think we I think we went 3-0. Oh my goodness gracious. And just when he said we weren't meant to go 3-0, we 3-0'd. What's the other products we got? Let's open this guy. If you guys want to support the channel, please consider subscribing or uh following or using the membership feature on YouTube. Those are great ways to whenever you can life you can pay two if you do create a four four fungus beast. All right, not bad, not bad. Our play points are killing it. Thank you guys for watching, though. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys will consider supporting. It's a great way to uh, help me out and make sure I stay alive and keep streaming. And uh, It's great, great to support the content you consume. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.